I remember early on being in the hospital from having a stroke and I remember them coming in and they were asking me extremely easy questions such as do you know what day of the week it is do you know what year it is do you know who the president is things like that and I remember my first thought was like do you guys think I'm stupid or something <laughs> um, but then I started to think about that and I started to remember watching my brother go through his first stroke recovery and I remember him being asked when he was in the hospital, do you know where you're at? And he said, China. So um, I thought back to that and, and they have to kind of measure and they have to kind of gauge where you're at mentally and how much you've retained. And they have to check on your cognitive thinking ability and so once I kind of realized that, it's like, okay, they're going to ask me this. It's just, you know, I had a stroke. I had a brain injury. So they're going to ask me these questions. So um, in rehab, in the hospital, they also had me doing uh, mind exercises, which was basically uh, there would be like a like a story problem that would that you'd have to figure out and you'd have to kind of go through a process of elimination and that was stuff like you know like there'll be a sheet of paper and it'll have plots in a garden and it'll say something like you know you got to plant all these vegetables but you have to do it in this criteria and you know, you're going to plant onions, but the onions can't be next to the, you know, the whatever, like the carrots or something. And the carrots have to be in the second row. And then, you know, like something else, the potatoes have to be near the spinach or, you know, just like stuff like that. And so you have to kind of go through and figure out mentally, like where everything goes and write it on the piece of paper. And I remember being asked, hey, if you have a $20 bill, you go into a gas station, the total comes to $17.82, then what exactly is your change going to be? And so you'd have to think about that and figure that out, which wasn't really a problem for me. I was always really strong at math, and I didn't lose any of that from having a stroke. Like, that has stayed with me. My mental capabilities has stayed uh, very well given the circumstances and um, I remember later on uh, someone had come in and they said hey I'm gonna have a we're gonna do a memory test and I'm gonna give you three words to remember I'm gonna tell you three words and then we're going to have a conversation, and then after the conversation's over, we're going to, you're going to tell me what the three words are. So he would say something like car, keys, and red, like the color red. And then, then we'd have a conversation, and it was stuff like, hey, what kind of things do you do? You know, like, what do you like doing? What do you do for a living? What's your job? And so we had a conversation, and then at the end, he says, okay, now tell me what those three words are. And I... You know, I, I remembered him. I told him, you know, car, keys, red. He's like, okay, all right. We don't, I don't really foresee any problems. <laughs> so that was good to hear. And um, so just if anyone's watching this that has not been through this kind of journey, and if you ever end up in this kind of journey, just remember that they have to do their due diligence and they have to check out uh, where you're at mentally and really the only way to do that is to ask you questions even if they're simple questions and even if you think you know hey they think I must be stupid or something you know that's that's not really what's happening there they have to gauge and they have to know where you're at